が本物ええ、本物じゃん。ちょっと待って。Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some Gigabrain 200 IQ plays. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's hop right back in. Watch the wave closely. The second there's a gap, the helicopter flies in to get Twitch into turret range. No way, you're the boat. I've never seen anybody do that. But at this ELO, the Admiral Potato is watching his ADCs every step just as closely as Helicopter is. Next up, it's War Machine with some disgusting chat mind games. Think about it Red Team's Nexus is wide open versus a very stealthy Twitch. Wollen wir die diven? Ich glaube, wir können die diven. Mm. Der, die ist alleine, guck mal. Guck mal, komm mal. Guck mal. Guck mal. Ah, die wollte die Wave clearen. Ah, jetzt, jetzt. <lacht> ich lauf einfach auf. Ich lauf einfach zu Fuß, ja? Jo. Ein bisschen langsam, aber ich versuche ja. den Weg abzuschneiden. Er geht in Tower Axe. Okay. <lacht> Axe und kann die nicht, ich tippe. <lacht> ja, ich hab auch Assist. <lacht> Junge. No, c'est trop, c'est trop. <laughs> This maneuver by Kesha is actually next level. The second he sees Renekton commits to the Krugs, he finds the perfect angle to abuse this bush to its highest potential. Oh my god! Holy! The plays only get more creative here. Keep an eye on Syndra. She's both denying the red buff and using it as a heal delivery system. <laughs> She grabbed the red buff to him so he could smite it. And he has star beefs, of course, bro. Yeah, hell yes. They can think I'm AFK. Maus understands the butterfly effect of wave management to a T. This is the IQ and knowledge of someone who's experimented with waves for hours. I won't kill this minion. Calculating this correctly, now this wave crashes later, and then this wave is able to match it, so I'm not gonna lose the plating because I didn't kill that minion. It's gonna stay right... Perfect, perfect. Como le esquivó la R, chaval. Men jeg kan måske prøve noget sjovt her. Han har nok prøvet recall lige om lidt, ikke? Jeg kan bare ulvække og se, hvad der sker. Beware those bushes, man. Kiana's got some deceptive range, and that wall may as well make her ult count as global. Next up, check out this Gigabrain vision manipulation. Draven fakes up after killing the minion, only to blood rush back downwards and hug the wall to hide away from his unsuspecting opponent. For a split second here, right? But he doesn't know, right? Look. And we do the same thing, look. We go like this. And then we go like this. It's gonna fall for it. Oh. What? Minions ruined it this time. He 
has been so good for them. And out of nowhere, a TP into a soul flash forward Q. He has smite. He has smite. He oh. flash smote it with the spellbook smite there. Pops the ulti, gets in. There was no jungler there for TSM. Spellbook's last second over, immediately to the smite. Pops the W, scouts the health himself. This is the alley oop off the backboard, the self set up there. Oh. Yeah, every time that we have to start, it's a little bit hard to admit our faults. But I'm not so perfect, it's all of this worth it. Scheiße, nice, da war so smart von den beiden. Die Action. Is it luck or calculated? From Jin's perspective, as he rounds the corner, the vision is fading and all he sees is this flash particle. At level 1, with just one pulverize, Ali is by far the safer route. That is, if Trundle ever made it over the wall. I see it a bit. Going, yeah, well. <laughs> now I can stop them from doing the Baron. Too far out there and maybe gonna get run down. Oh, oh, beautiful use of Pillar while mid air to stop Dopla from getting over the wall and into the river. Fudge will drop the Maelstrom and Berserker drop. Coming up next, look out for the enemy Ezreal. He's thinking about 12 steps ahead. What a flank! The last angle the enemies would expect is outside of your own base. And speaking of unexpected angles, this is how you stall for death timers, deny soul and or baron, and threaten the base all at once. We're playing checkers while Bows plays chess, man. All these death timers are a lot earlier. What do we do? Well, I saw them on wards, right? And they were moving into here. So I knew they kind of were going dragon. But then the goddamn genius that I am, <laughs> they're all coming. So I TP top. And they all lose their fucking mind. <laughs> they all recall. These idiots. Uh, you as well? And there we go. So I walk back into Dragon. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> he doesn't know where I am. He doesn't see me go in there. Oh, yeah. It's so fun to p play against champions that are just strictly better. You know what I mean?
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the smile on Doublelift's face. You can't even be mad at that, dude. Karia isn't human. What a prediction, and the follow-up was even nastier. And speaking of amazing follow-ups, I've never been so hyped to see someone run through a wave. I'm out of Mamma mia, Richard! So yes. <laughs> I guess the random invade timings are the deadliest. What? Oh my god! This guy is crazy! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! Блять, я всегда рус за ты хуйню. Sigue la última, ¿qué pasó? Three v one dives are rough when you don't have any trust in your team. No one wants to tank first in this exchange, and every misstep is heavily multiplied when you factor in Jin Swifty's rush, allowing him to bob and weave through everything. Okay, that's it. Let's go. 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 Let's I have Flash and Gale Force. I want to bait them out. You have shield, right? Here, I'm going to stand over here just in case. You're insane, Raph! You're insane! Yeah, we're going to both of our streams and we're clipping that after this. On the ruins minions. of the tier one. Minions up on top side. Those things doing a lot of damage to the inhibitor right now. CLG trying to keep FlyQuest in mid while the minions do their work. It's all keep your eye on the picture and picture bot lane. Let this be a lesson to clear your waves before you TP. If you don't, then you're asking to get reverse Uno carded hard. After the Baron seeing Philip up there in the top side. Remember how fast they burn this down. FlyQuest oh moving up. They don't want to give it away. Philip coming in now for the TP. There's the cooldown CLG was looking for. They bring Philip back here. They counter TP to the port. Don't play. Counter TP. Now they know FlyQuest doesn't have a way to get back in there and match him in time. Dope was going for the in hit. And CLG have found the macro out play for now. What is FlyQuest's answer? As CLG disengages with a four. Double TP. Wall. They're going for it. They're going to bring Palafox in. They want to go for the end of the game. As FlyQuest are trying to get back to the base. Philip wants to survive. But Palafox wants to stop. Okay. I can leash this on balance. Yet, only clone. Hey, you know, Blade, they bow. It's a bad shock.
все это время это был настоящий? Так я наш шатдаун. Yeah, you're skilled. Mind your step. Look at all those Dark Star Lotus traps just creeping there. Speaking of traps, if you like this clip, go check out yesterday's episode. When you have a scouter support, the sky is the limit. Anda, te dije, va. Te bien, Julio. Anda, que por eso no iré a ser mío. ¿Ya te lo hiciste? Ya te lo hiciste. Clip çıkmış olabilir arkadaşlar. Sakin. Thank you so much for watching, that's gonna do it for today's episode all on 200 IQ. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe for some more good stuff like this daily. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.